power. Uh, uh, tell me how. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Rivers' Chargers going up against Cars Raiders. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Bay Area as we welcome you to Oakland, California. The pregame festivities here in Oakland have to be seen to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with Phillip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. here on first down and his first pass here is going to fall incomplete Amari Cooper his intended receiver and that'll bring up second down oh man that was close the opportunity to change momentum big play right in his hands unable to come down with it a sigh of relief no doubt on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground he gets this one to Michael Crabtree and this one will go to the 28-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. So just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. And tough starting field position here. A first down throw here for Rivers. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. On first and 10, Rivers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Eddie Vanderdoes. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? For some punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Antonio Gates that time. Third down here. But he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Throwing, Rivers. Got a man, it's complete. Williams. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Tyrell Williams, 64 yards. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. 
As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there, and off he went. Glad wasn't the one trying to chase him. No back out now to kick this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that, that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Now Manuel. And incomplete there. A nice hit, jars the ball free, and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Here's Manuel. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he finds Cook. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Jared Cook, 70 yards. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And for them a touchdown their last go around. Obviously they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles. Charger touchdown. Antonio Gates, 75 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead. I know guys who design defenses, they try to prepare for everything. But you ignore the guy who plays tight end at your own peril. Yeah, and he's like having another wide receiver out there sometimes, right? Exactly right, because they're such a matchup nightmare. And they're hybrid guys. Are they receivers? Are they big guys that block? How about the one we just saw there? Catch it and go. Run after catch all the way into the end zone. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Did they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. First down, the run with Lynch. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Stopped short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Jared Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders have drawn even here. They can take the lead with the extra point to come. And it's up and good. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Charger offense making their way back out there. Rivers now to throw on first down. Right side catch. This is Gates. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play. But it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target. Guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Caught left side to Crabtree. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yards. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Corey Legion forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Back 
have to throw here. And that is going to be incomplete. A gutsy call by Jack Del Rio, but it does not pay off. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Eddie Vanderdoes in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Rivers now on second down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the half, Rivers. He's going to launch this into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. a beautiful play a pick six how would you punctuate something like that partner what do you mean with an exclamation mark exclamation mark a big word what would you do with the ampersand i like it and with that the lead is up to eight so we've hit intermission it's halftime this is the nfl and it's a presentation of ea sports So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They've talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall i think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up well partner i got to get your thoughts while we have a second on the end of that falcons lions game people were shocked that that golden tate touchdown was called a touchdown was overturned were you surprised i was surprised because normally they stick with the original call oh well, this is taken in it's complete and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 32 that time. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. First down, Rivers. Gates with a grab. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Do you get the sense, Brandon, that people are trying to retire Antonio Gates? They keep thinking this is almost the end of the line, and then he keeps making catches like the one we just saw there. He's the old reliable. You're right, just one of nine players in the NFL with 100 or more touchdowns. Rivers on first down. Breaking the tackle, Gates. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Second down now after the incompletion. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that. Rivers again. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. 
A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. Play fake, Rivers, and they're going to get to him, a sack, sack back in the nine-yard line. Khalil Mack able to run him down for a loss of a yard. Now from back in the nine after that last play, this is third and goal. From the gun, Rivers, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. On fourth down, Anthony Lynn says, let's go for three. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. Now it's Nick Novak back out following his field goal to send it away. This will be taken very short. With pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily... The coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. He'll look to throw. Now bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the batter. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect No him. one else there to protect with me. And the Raiders have got him. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Second down, Rivers. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. On play action, Rivers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Khalil Mack in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Here's Drew Kayser now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a big play that time on the fake punt. And they're able to move the chain.
Rams as they convert on fourth and long. They go play action here on first down. That is caught inside the five. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Tyrell Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. I think we can figure out why they went for two there, right? Up one, you want to make it a field goal difference if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now they've got to play some defense down the street. Yeah, not much margin for air now for your D. They just have to get it into range. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that? Michael Crabtree's going to go past the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Michael Crabtree, 82 yards. And the Raiders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling me that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So out come the Chargers. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's complete to Gates. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the play. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A first down throw here for Rivers. Caught by Gates, left side. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down at the 29. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play, but the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. Rivers. Looking for Allen, he's got him on the slant. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Throwing again, Rivers on second and ten. That is caught. It's Benjamin for the Charger touchdown. Travis Benjamin from 13 yards out, and the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
And now a critical extra point attempt here. Here's Clements. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And that is one, no doubt, that may come back to haunt them because the PAT tied it. They didn't need to go for two. I keep searching for an explanation. I know it's quick right here. I think I can search for the next year <laughs> and not, not come up more. with anything that absolutely works. Kick the point, man. Kick the point. I don't get it. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I true. mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Second down, Lynch. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And Brandon, this is where it pays to have a big back who can take over a football game, especially in the fourth quarter when you've got the lead, your ability to not just wear people down, but close games out. They'll try and wind down some clock with Lynch. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Big boys down there in the trenches in a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you talk about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. Now Manuel. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Here's Manuel. A right side catch by Crabtree. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. It's a gain of 21 that time. And it'll give the Raiders a first down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. That one looks like he'll throw here. Oh, no, he lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Stop shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game. The effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one.